good evening everyone and uh we are now set all right welcome to usana online business strategy series and this is to provide a platform for the associates to continuously learn their usana business to learn the key uh, to learn from the key leaders on how to grow and sustain their Sana business during the challenge of the enhanced community quarantine. Now, in connection, success from Yusana results only um, from sales efforts, which require hard work, diligence, and leadership. Your success will depend on how you exercise these qualities. Yusana Philippines do not promote nor support any views beliefs and opinions that are not aligned with our culture and corporate vision good evening everyone my name is leo and welcome to the fourth week of our online business strategy series it's another day again to learn and uh, we've invited someone who can best deliver the result the, the lead uh, we invited someone who can best deliver the results of hard work plus dedication plus love and service can be our speaker understood the word responsibility at an early age of seven after his parents left for work i mean left to work abroad at a young age he transferred from one house to another seeking food and shelter including his three siblings and he did a lot of work just to provide their needs with hard work and determination he received a scholarship grant to be a science major in software technology at the De La Salle University and finished his degree with honorable mention. As a working student, both in Burger King and DLSU, he learned the value of hard work and perseverance. Right after graduation, um, right after graduate, right after graduation, he worked as an IT consultant in HP, and late and then later as sap consultant in chevron holdings incorporated in search for opportunities to give him freedom he found yusana at the age of 27. he had made remarkable records with, with yusana and earned his first million peso in his first six months in doing the business he is a consistent top income earner of yusana philippines an asia pacific top income earner and was awarded as part of the Fortune 100 and Yusana's top income earner worldwide. He also got his first million dollar at the age of 32. Traveling is one of his most enjoyed privilege in Yusana. An entrepreneur, a motivational speaker, and a seasoned mentor. A loving husband to his wife, Aya, and father to Santi. Yusana Philippines, say hello to three-star diamond director, Rich Tan. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Okay, I'll, I'll just share my slides. Okay, start my video. Share my slides. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I hope that everyone is safe and healthy. And thank you very much, Yusana Corporate, for asking me to do this training. Okay, uh, it's my privilege to, to share all my knowledge and experiences to all, especially those who are just starting and who, those who are uh, looking for um, progress and growth and rank advancement in their organization. Okay? So, hi everyone. Hello everyone, the chat group. Okay. So, I'll start. I'll start. So, um, They've asked me to um, do a training on top income earner mindset because um, that's one of the most important thing when it comes to uh, business and success. It's the mindset. Okay, it's um, really uh, copying and understanding the mindset of successful people. Okay, so I've been doing Yusana for nine years already and uh, going ten years. And yes, so I'll share with you all of my. Um, uh, they asked me to share all of my secrets, so I, I, I share with you all my secrets. Huh? 
I'll um I'll compress all my nine years in just forty five minutes. Okay, so you'll be saving a lot of time. You'll be saving uh eight years, eight years and three hundred sixty four days and how many hours? <laughs> okay, so let's begin. Let's begin. If you're ready, just raise your hands. Okay, uh, in the chat group. Okay, and let's go. Let's start. Yes, so many raise hands. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's start with dreaming big, okay? Uh, dreaming big, it's very, very important, you know? Because um, a lot of people, no? A lot of people, they, they lose all their potential. They do not use their potential because they're dreaming too small. Think amazing, okay? Always think amazing. Um, uh, for example, you, 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 you should have a vision for yourself and for your team. For example, I'll do an example for a downline, Romwell and Marika Remolona. Think of yourself as the next Bill and Jenny Wang, or Anna and Eric Manrique, the next Bob Lynn and Mary Ma, or Alec Lagare and Tosca Ramos, the next Helen Song. See? So you could imagine yourself, no? They say, my mentor said, don't look at yourself who you are right now, but always look at yourself who you can become later on. Okay? So people fail in life not because they aim too high and miss, no? People fail in life because they aim too low and when they hit it, that's it. And they, unfortunately, they realize it later on in life. There's no time anymore. So I really urge you to really dream big, um, especially this um, during this quarantine. We we are in, in the position wherein we could offer a lot of value out there. Um, a lot of people are looking for um, ways on how to be healthy for themselves and their family and how to earn money at home. So there. Uh, what else? Do not let people with small dreams convince you that your dreams are too big. Okay? Be with the big dreamers. Work and spend time with them. So I experienced this uh, when I was starting. Okay? Um, when I was starting, my goal in USANA was to um, was to earn 10,000 pesos, I 100,000 pesos per month. But you know what? When mentor Caleb asked me, and so my goal, he said, it's too small. Okay? Um, add another zero. I said, wow, uh, the goal is uh, one million per month. Wow. Okay. So, okay. Uh, I did that. So I wrote down my goal. Uh, I, I add another zero to my goal. And uh, that's it. I, I focus on that goal. Okay. Now, set goals, set goals, set goals. Okay. Then break them down into monthly weekly and daily milestones commit to the daily milestones a lot of people um uh, are scared no of dreaming big or uh, setting high goals because uh, they're too scared of the that much work or that much goal no um i told them i always tell them why not just um why not just um break down your goals into monthly weekly and daily goals okay so for example i tell some of my downlines um if don't be frustrated at the end of the week you have no income no your goal your goal is to make sure that every single day to, to commit to your goal um i i give them numbers to hit quota to hit because you know what this is a daily thing this is a business okay so you should you should have a quota for yourself um they have like 10 people to to say hi and hello and um they have 10 people to invite and at least three to five people to present to and at least one to two pay-ins per day, okay? So you have to commit to that goal, no? You have to discipline yourself to commit to that goal. Then eventually you reach your dream, okay? Now, what else? Uh, for he knows, uh, I'll share with you, uh, for he knows you already even before you were born. For he placed those dreams in your hearts and not in others. For he is a giving and abundant God. You know what? Sometimes you ask yourself, um, why you have your dreams, you know, if you ask other people, they don't have the, those kind of big dreams, no? And right now, uh, you have that very big dream because you're in USANA. Not everyone is in USANA, so he placed those big dreams in you because he wants you to achieve that, okay? And so there. So that's the mindset, first mindset, uh, dream big, okay? I, I remember when I was starting, my goal is... Um, uh, when I was starting, my, I always look at the top income earner mindset, uh, top income earner list uh, in the office. Uh, but right now, you could 
look at that list in the in the website already okay in the hub so i always look at that list and i always tell myself i will be in that uh, list soon no and some of my applicants were telling me rich don't look at that list too much you might erase, erase our name so at the back of my head i would i at the back of my i'm telling myself i'm really going to erase your name because i'm going to put my name in in in, in that list so with hard work and perseverance and consistency every single day i do you sana after six months i made it to the top uh 16 of uh usana top income earner on my first six months okay i was top 16 so it can happen so um i'm waiting for the other people who who would want to erase our names too <laughs> okay so welcome 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 next okay believe okay um 90 percent belief is still 100 percent disbelief for me if others did it you can do it too it's that simple okay so wait i'll open my so six star here we go <laughs> okay let's do this okay so um the temptation to quit is so much great when success is just around the corner you know what you really have to have that strong sense of belief that uh, you just continue keep keep doing what you need to do keep focusing or mastering the basics and you'll you'll get your aces no um i asked mentor caleb how and can i be like you when i was starting how can i reach your income or how can i surpass you he said when i was when he is presenting, I should be presenting. When he is going home already, I should still be presenting. When um, he is sleeping already, I should still be presenting. And when he wakes up, I should be in the office already presenting. Okay? So you know what I did? What I did is I asked him, where is he living? So I sleep with him. So to, to really know what time he sleeps and what time he wakes up. Okay? So to, to get ahead of him. So... Basically, I did that and um, it's true. Uh, right now, I'm a three-star diamond director, okay? So, so what else? We all have the seed of greatness inside of us. It's it, it's either you let it wither and die or you let it grow and flourish by less ground. This is one of my favorite uh, uh, audio book to listen to and YouTube or motivational speaker. You you better look him up, no? Less ground. Um, he, he always reminds me that we have this greatness inside of us. So, uh, you know what? Um, you don't need anyone to tell you that you could be successful. You already have that, no? Uh, as I remember, uh, uh, in science class, there's over how many, how many sperms or how many million sperms entered the, the womb and you're the champion. You're the single sperm who won, right? So, you're, you're already unique and you're already great, no? Um, Next, be brave to share your beliefs and spread the word as people who believe in you would work with you with blood, sweat, and tears, said Samuel Sinek. No? Um, I would like to share with you. So I would like to share with you. Um, whenever I, I, I do presentation, I always share with them uh, my belief. My belief that um, all of us deserve a better life. All of us deserve... Mm, to be healthy all of us deserves a very very good life so um yeah pe some people believe some people don't so yeah just keep sharing on your belief okay so i'll share with you from from jeremiah 29 11 for i know i have plans for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not harm you plans to give you hope and a future you know what you just have to continue on um you were given you sana the opportunity uh, to really have an abundant future and really have a healthy future, you know. Um, not everyone is in USANA. So be thankful, be grateful that you are in USANA and believe that um, someday you'll be successful and you'll be a star diamond, no? Um, if you could say that to yourself, uh, I'm a star diamond director, okay? So, yes, even if you, I cannot hear you, you could just say that at, in your homes, okay? So, next so very important that we really have to master our emotions okay this one one very important thing um it's because um a lot of uh people don't succeed is because they're always um 
trust or they're always um what you call this um they're always messed up when it comes to their emotions so they don't they cannot really uh they really cannot um um go about with their goals okay so i have a, a trick for you i'll have a, a, a discard or have a um a strategy for you you really have to change your words because uh your words can change your life the quality of your emotions determines the quality of the message you send to your brain okay so be mindful of your story so one uh during this um uh, pandemic or quarantine you really have to be careful of what you're reading you really have to be careful um of what you're watching or what you're listening to okay um i know that we have to be uh we have to be what you call this we have to be updated all the time but um for me you really have to consume positive content because they say um it's one to five one positive content to five negative content so if you heard a lot of negative story imagine this every time you wake up you watch the tv you listen to the radio you open your facebook and you you see the number of uh covid 19 rising right so how can you expect how can you expect a very beautiful or a very energetic exciting day if you start your day with that okay for me i start my day by um looking at my dream board looking at my goals okay um we have our daily devotion and um uh, at least reading 10 pages of of a book okay right now i'm i'm, I'm reading i'm finishing up on uh, black mamba um uh, kobe bryant book okay so thank you coach jobet for giving me that book okay and um there so i start my day uh by making sure um i consume positive content number two uh make sure that you have uh defined your story okay what do i mean by this some people um they don't succeed in life because they have this story in their head okay they have this story in their head that um uh, I'm just a small time. I'm just a sharer. I'm just a downline. Uh, they are. Uh, I'm just starting. Uh, they are already successful. Um, they are way ahead of me. So if you have that story in your head, how can you expect uh, a life of abundance and success, right? So some people don't really uh, actually don't really believe in this in this system or in this programming. Uh, I'll tell you, I believe in this program because one, I'm an IT professional and I can program, you know, I can create programs and the program, if you run it in a computer, the computer will receive its as instruction and would create results. So it's the same thing with the story in your head, okay? If, you, uh, if you're not mindful of your words, if you're not mindful of your story, um, you'll eventually program yourself. So, okay, for those who do not believe me, um, let's do the story exercise, okay? Please tell yourself, uh, I'm not rich. I will be poor. I'm just a sharer or a downline. And do that 100 times every day. <laughs> do you think, you think you can really succeed with that if you do that every single day? Would you want to do that? Of course not, right? You don't want to do it, okay? You don't want to tell yourself that that story. On the other hand, why not tell you why not tell you yourself this story? I will be rich. I will contribute to the world. I will earn more to serve more. I am an executive star diamond. Okay? You know that's the thing. That's why I changed my name to Rich. So every day when I wake up, when I introduce myself, hi, I'm Rich. <laughs> so I'm really programming myself already, okay? So, anyway, uh, apart from that, um, I share you a, a short story. Uh. I, I did that in front of uh, the, when I was uh, invited to speak in New Zealand, I did that in the, um, and Bill and Jenny was in front, okay? Of course, in the, in the convention, in front, in the center. And I told uh, Bill and Jenny, um, I told them, hi, I'm Rich. You know what Bill said? He said, "Hi, I'm Richer." <laughs> of course, he's the top number. One, he's the number one global distributor. I think there's 17 star diamond already. So anyway, so again, next, 
Um, so you have to really have your your story in your head, no? Set. So if you have a dream board in front of you, in front of your office, in front of your your bedroom, I remember I wrote my myself. I created myself a huge check. Okay, I I I bought a carton in a huge board from from the from the bookstore and wrote down all of the things that um and wrote down all of the things that um I, I wrote down a one million peso uh payable to Richard Tan. Okay, so there. So anyway, um exercise, eat healthy food, most especially this quarantine. Okay, put a sign on the fridge. So if you're if you you could open your fridge and print a sign there that you're not hungry. You're just bored. <laughs> okay? So exercise and eat healthy food. We cannot please everyone in this world nor this in this lifetime. If you try to, you won't be happy. Okay? And last but not the least, languages. Language shapes our behavior and each word we use is imbued with multitudes of personal meaning. Imagine that, no? Right words spoken the right way can bring us love, money, and respect. While wrong words, even the right words spoken in the wrong way can lead a country to war imagine that right so we must carefully orchestrate our speech if you want to achieve our goals and bring our dreams to we shot dr andrew newberg words can change your brain okay i love this book so yeah so thank you very much uh, right now we're uh, already uh climb up already in the growth so i hope uh we're, we're gonna make sure that we're part we'll be part of the uh growth again uh this 2020 okay thank you very much congratulations to those who are part of the growth as well keep growing keep growing and keep growing okay so next mindset is intentional growth um during this um during this uh quarantine you make sure you grow you 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 learn a new skill um for example um you learn how to do uh Video calls, you learn how to uh, do digital marketing. You learn how to, um, for the new ones, you learn how to present online. Um, you, for the new ones, you learn how to present. Or for the people who are used to training one-on-one uh, -on -one or face-to-face, -face, learn, learn how to train and present uh, by online, okay? Why? Because everything is the same. It's the same process. You study, you work on it, and you earn. So you study how to do this, you work on it, and you earn. So basically, that's it. So when you stop growing, you start dying. Same with business, relationship, spirituality, etc. Okay? So together, let's learn more, grow more, earn more, and share more, and finally serve more. So let's grow every day, every week, every month, and every year. Knowledge-wise, mindset, skills, leadership, organization sites, and finally, results. Okay? So let's grow together, USANA Philippines and USANA International, okay? So now, uh, I'm, I'm very fond of reading. Read, 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 read because leaders are readers, okay? So why if we read a lot? So imagine this. Um, how many books did you read during your um, high school, elementary, and college? Only to find out, okay? Only to find out that you'll graduate and you'll have that job now you want to be a millionaire you want to be super successful it doesn't make sense that you don't want to read a single book right so um they say they are busy or reading at the end of the day there's no such thing as busy there's only priorities so if your priority is to grow grow personal development so that your business could grow as well and your team could grow as well okay so you owe it to your team to grow you wait to your downlines to grow. Grow, 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 grow. Okay? So, lesser trial and error, shorter learning curve, improve and better results. Okay? I hope you are learning and I hope you um, really uh, get that book and read. Guys, um, I, I learned this from uh, Apnat Sunyo. If you just read 10 pages a day, okay? Uh, that's 300 pages um, in, in a month. That's almost two books already or one book, one to two books. So, you can you can read at least one book a month. Imagine that, right? Learn, 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 learn. Okay. So this is a very important illustration. What a growth mindset looks like and what a fixed mindset looks like. Um, let's let's start with the fixed mindset. The fixed mindset is 
my failure is the limit of my abilities. No, no, no. Um, I'm either good at it or I'm not. My abilities are unchanging. I don't like to be challenged. My potential is predetermined. When I'm frustrated, I give up. Feedback and criticisms are very personal. I stick to what I know. Wow. You know, I cannot even tell this to myself. Okay? Why? Because I'm a growth mindset. Um, I've been doing Isana for nine years. So, um, nine years, I'm always, um, I'm always, uh, my mindset is grow, 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 grow. Okay? So, failure is an opportunity to grow. I saw an illustration a while ago that um, the, the failure, some people, they put it as bricks on their head and, um, uh, but some people, failure, they put it as stepping stones towards their, their goal. I can learn to do anything I want. Challenges help me grow. My effort and attitude determine my abilities. Feedback and is constructive. We need feedback because if we don't have feedback, we'll never learn um, and we'll never grow. Okay, we'll never improve. So feedback is very uh, appreciated. I'm inspired by the success of others and I would like to try new things. Okay, so next time is Diamond. Do it now. There is no tomorrow. Who thought the volcano would erupt this January? Who thought we would have a pandemic this February? Who thought we would be in lockdown this March? Right? So, um, I saw a post a while ago in Instagram that um, this lockdown is like a simulation of if you uh, if you retire without any passive income. Okay? So, uh, same thing. So, why not do it now? We'll never know how long this uh, lockdown would last. Why not learn how to earn at home? Um, okay, so where there is much discipline, there will be less distraction. If your dreams and goal are more important than your distraction, no discipline seems pleasant at the time but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have trained by it. By Hebrews twelve eleven. So very important, ah, time is not gold. Time is diamond. Pakisabing nga po let please repeat after me. Time is not gold. Time is diamond. It's more expensive than gold. Okay? So, schedule, 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 schedule. Very important. You have to have schedule in front of you. You have to have schedule in your notebook, in your planner. You have to have schedule in your calendar. Okay? Why? Because this is a very important business. Do you think Isana is a very important business for you? Of course! A lot of business right now are closed and Isana is still open. Okay? Um, even Jollibee right now is closed. Even Starbucks right now is closed. And McDonald's is closed. Okay? But Yusana is open. Imagine that. Okay? So, um, in, in right now, most of us, no, are enjoying our, or are, are enjoying our provisions, are blessed with our provisions because we worked this before the crisis happened, before the pandemic happened. Okay? So, you really have to, if this is an important business for you, we really have to treat it as very important. You really have to schedule it as very important. Maximize time. You sound as much easier and faster now because there's no traffic. <laughs> no traffic anymore. Okay? Opportunity won't wait. Run every week. So, I'd like to share with you um, one of our uh, teammates, Dave Angge or Lina in Jericho or Lina. Um, I taught them that day one should be after cut off. That's Saturday. So, day two, is Sunday. Day 3 is Monday. Day 3 is Tuesday. Day 4 is, um, I wait, day 1 is Saturday. Day 2 is Sunday. Day 3 is Monday. Day 4 is Tuesday. Day 5 is Wednesday. So Wednesday, they're already done with their goals for the week. Okay? So start as up, start as up. Okay? I'd like to share with you some best practices as well so that you will be uh, able to maximize this quarantine. Okay? Uh, my previous job, because my previous just job, uh, we uh, we always do work from home. So I got this from my previous job. Okay, one, uh, have a designated place. Do not put uh, your laptop or your work area. Don't make your dining table or your bed a work area. Have a designated place. Number two, follow a schedule. Schedule, schedule, schedule. Number three, have a schedule for your team. Okay, it's not enough. That you have your own schedule. Have a schedule for your team. And you have to have clear goals in front of you. And last but not least, have a bat every day. Okay? So, next. Hard work, competitiveness, and mastery. Very important. Very, very important. 
Um, I'll share with you when I was starting. I did you sana um, part time at first. So my 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 day looks like a lot of people are asking me how my day looks like. How I created momentum. How how was I able to resign from my job after four months? How was I able to create um four uh, uh six six digit uh, after four months? Okay, so my part time looks like this: seven to nine p.m. I have presentation. Ten to twelve midnight I have presentation. One to three a.m. I have presentation every single day during part time. So during Saturday, that's morning. Uh, noon time, afternoon, and evening. During Sunday, that's morning, afternoon. I uh, morning, uh, noon time, afternoon, and evening presentations as well. Uh, I remember uh, when we were uh, starting. Um, I always have a a, a race with uh, Apnatsunyo. Always, ah, uh, who who here who um opens the who who is in the office already? Who opens the office? Who closes the office? Sometimes he is the one in front of me. Sometimes he's the one at, at my back. Sometimes, um, but it's from now. Uh, but basically, it's all about hard work. Okay. Uh, I'd like to share with you one of my favorite verses from the Bible, Proverbs six six eleven. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider it ways its ways and be wise. Okay. So I'll open uh, my Bible and. Search that. Okay. Imagine that which 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 having no guide, overseer, or ruler, um, provide her meat in the summer and gather her food in the harvest. How long will you sleep, you sluggard? When will you arise out of sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a folding of hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that travel and thy one as an armed man. Okay, so um, you really, we really have to consider the wise ants. Okay, next I I like to share with you um the story of Kobe Bryant. Um, Kobe Bryant, you know, um, he starts his day uh by waking out or by by waking up at five a.m working out training okay why because if he does that he can work out and train twice as much as his teammates and his competitors okay and on top of that he can have time for his family and 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 for himself okay um greatness is not for everybody said kobe bryant no um i remember his uh story with stephen curry okay um, Stephen Curry got to the gym at 7 a.m. and he saw Kobe Bryant shooting already and done with the workout and, and training, okay? All perspired already. And the next day, um, Stephen Curry went uh, went back to the gym uh, and the, the court and at, uh, what time? At 6 o'clock. And again, he saw, he saw uh, Kobe Bryant done already, okay? Shooting hoops and tired already or perspired already. He asked Kobe Bryant, why are you here? Uh, Kobe, we know what Kobe Bryant said. Kobe Bryant said, because I knew you would be here earlier, so I have to be earlier here. <laughs> okay, so competitiveness. No, you have to be competitive, not with others, but with yourself, okay? With your previous self, okay? You outgrow your previous self, okay? So next, master the basic. Very, very important. Mastery of basics, okay? Um our basics in USANA is very, very simple. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's very, very simple. Prospecting the right people, proper inviting, edification or presentation, hitting the PVPS, monitoring the PVPS runners or premium platinum pay setter, setting up the auto order and monitoring that auto order. That's it. You you just have to master those basics and duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Like um, like Naruto, right? Kage Bunshin, okay? Wait. Next, create the most value, okay? Guys, the most successful entrepreneurs are the ones who give the most value to the world. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal said, no? He heard from uh, from Warren Buffett, no? If you do a business that would benefit a lot more people, okay? But highest value to a lot more people, your business would grow, okay? That's what he did. So right now, he has lots of businesses and it's not unlike the... The NBA player, uh, NBA players that who are uh, bankrupt already. Okay, so in our case, health is health and wellness. 
Okay, with hard work, perseverance, and perseverance, people could enjoy financial wellness as well. Now is the time to go all out, okay? Um, now is the time uh, not to be locked out, but to be locked in, okay? With you, Sana, okay? A lot of people want to join you, Sana, already. A lot of people are looking for vitamins, okay? So when is the time, no? Now is the time. Run, 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 okay? Um, congratulations, Mentor RV, uh, for for showing us that uh, you could run Emerald even on a lockdown. And congratulations, uh, Hyun Jin and Erica uh, for for uh, running the Six Star Diamond Director. Uh, amazing. It's so amazing, no? Um, next, build relationships, not just customer. Also, be the upline of value, not just the upline who just got in first, okay? Care for your people more than your own ranks and results, okay? Are you learning? Okay, I hope you are learning, okay, and listening very well because if you do, you'll have, um, you know what, just uh, make sure that you, you apply all this and with hard work and perseverance and consistency, you'll be able to surpass all of us. And we are welcoming you to surpass all of us, okay? There is one thing better than reaching the top in life. It's reaching down and helping someone else rise to the same level i love this i love this quote this is in my stories okay so uh I, by the way you could follow me in um uh, rich tan 111 okay in my instagram and in my facebook okay so there and leadership 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 lead by example step up step up step up and ownership you know what uh, a lot of people are asking me how do i lead my organization my team at the end of the day we just lead by example. At the end of the day, um, the best leadership uh, principle is you don't teach people the things that you do not do. So basically, I teach what I teach you a while ago. This um, um, in almost one hour, it, these are the things that I do. Okay, um, ownership. You have to own your business. No, um, doesn't mean you have an upline. You just wait for your upline. Own your business. I remember when I was starting, uh, I don't have any upline because um, I was just invited to go to the office and look at the presentation, okay? And you know what? Um, she just told me to, to uh, observe and listen to a presentation, okay? So I would like to thank uh, Mentor Bren Evangelista personally for presenting. Uh, and I listened to uh, Mentor Bren's uh uh, presentation and he has a very uh, good presentation that's why I joined okay so thank you very much and uh, so at that time uh, I asked I, I, I called her up and I said okay um, what do I do she said just uh, pay in the counter and attend training I said okay and that's it that's our conversation okay then I attend my own trainings I, I do my own trainings I research on my own and so on and so forth Okay. Yes. So um, we are not managers, but we are leaders. Okay. We do not manage people. We lead our people. Okay. We develop them as leaders in knowledge wise, health, uh, mindset wise, and skills wise. Uh, skills wise. Okay. Lead them to a better health and a better life. No. Uh, I could not express more that, you know what? Lead them to an amazing life, an amazing health. Um, USANA is unlimited, you know. Um, our dreams are unlimited. You really have to um, um, think amazing, okay? So instead of just having a better life, have an amazing life, no? Lead them to a better life, better health, okay? So what else? Monitor and train your people and help them succeed. So monitoring is uh, key, no? I would like to recognize one of our leaders, uh, Mentor Tim Papalate. She's one of the best monitoring uh, mentors uh, that I learned from. So I learned from my downlines as well, okay? Train your people have to succeed. Maximize the hub. Maximize the hub. It's there for a reason. Check your the auto order setups, close to check, close to rank advancement, PPS runners every single week, okay? Simon Sinek said, if you want to be a great leader, remember to treat all your people with respect at all times. For one, because you never know when you need their help. And two, because it's a sign you respect people, which all 
great leaders do. Okay? So everyone, let's respect people, let's respect each other, okay? And achieve and commit to your daily goals because that's what leaders do, okay? And, of course, last but not the least, okay? Set the energy and excitement to do it, okay? So, um, that's why you really have to, I uh, know, you really have to keep exercising. Um, there's a lot of exercise, um, a lot of people are asking me, how do you maintain your energy and your excitement? Okay? So, I always tell them, I, I try to exercise every day. Okay? And um, there's a lot of exercise videos uh, online. Okay? There's 7 minutes, there's 10 minutes. Um, there's a lot. Okay? Number 2, um, you eat healthy food. Okay? Number 3, uh, you have a positive content in your head. Okay? You, you, you consume positive content. Okay? And of course, you have the excitement. I'll share with you. Ah, uh, one day, um, I was so excited because I I, I visualized that after this quarantine, we were we are already uh my my team and our team, all of us, all of the Yusana Philippines. Okay, imagine all of the Yusana Philippines will be traveling to Taiwan three, four, six, bringing in their their family, their teammates, their upline, their downlines. Number two. Most of us will be uh, flying to Sri Lanka um, and, and enjoying the beach, enjoying the, the, the sight and scenery in Sri Lanka. And who knows, let's fly to Maldives as well. It's very close to Sri Lanka. Okay? So imagine that, that excitement. Imagine that feeling, okay? Um, you, 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 you zone in. You, you imagine that feeling that... You guys, imagine this. Oh, imagine this with me, right in your homes. Imagine this with me. You are all in the beach, okay, with your teammates, with your uplines, with your downlines, with your family, um, um, celebrating, celebrating your achievement, your executive goal, your executive rookie, your your Taiwan trip, your your Sri Lanka trip, your growth. Imagine that. Diba kinikili kayo or it, it, it tickles you or, or uh, diba? You get excited just by thinking of it. Imagine if you, you do that every single day when you wake up. Okay? So, every single day when you talk to people. Every single day when you share your sana. Every single day when you train your downlines. Okay? Celebrate, celebrate small wins. No, all wins. Small wins and big wins are still wins for the team. Do it online though. So, there. Enjoy the journey and embrace the process. So I have a lot of people. Um, um, some people uh, would get frustrated of their goal, of their of their uh, not hitting their goal. Uh, I just tell them that you, you really have to enjoy the journey and embrace the process because um, you know um, you if you if you do that, there's a high high chance that you'll grow through it. Okay, it's something that you don't enjoy. Okay. Uh, or don't have fun, uh, you won't enjoy it and you won't grow through it, okay? So, you really have to uh, look for the fun in it. I always tell my downlines and my team, I always, uh, we always tell our team, uh, we're not here for the fun. We bring the fun, okay? So, I, I saw one of my leaders, uh, I like to recognize that the leaders, uh, Faye, Faye Ponce, Diane uh, Garcia, and Eileen, um, they are uh, doing this uh, who wants to be a millionaire thing uh, training, okay? But they do it uh, product training style. And uh, they have like online, um, they have online quiz B. So something like that. And they have fun doing it, right? So there's a lot of ways of making uh, this online. Um, imagine this. There's a lot of uh, positive things that could go out of this or, or, or happen in, during this quarantine. So instead of um, being stuck in the in 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 traffic or in the office, no, you enjoy doing at home, okay? Uh, doing at home, being productive at home, um, um, while uh, being able to uh, to see your your family, your kids, and and you know, there's so much um, there's so much uh, growth and and um, fun things we could do online. Okay, and at the same time, earn as well. Okay, so, so basically, that's it. Okay, and um, 
thank you very much for your time if you have we have time for um question and answers um rio uh sir rio do we have time for question and answers um okay so if you have any questions you could just um sir leo are we open for question and answer or we're good yeah i think we're we're good for now so again thank you very much rich for your time we know you got you are actually doing good so so good so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Please, uh, let's give our virtual clap to Three Star Diamond Director. Yay! Thank you very much, Three Star Diamond Director, Mr. Richard Tan. So with that, right. um, before you guys go, let's have uh, this for tomorrow. We'll be having the topic, how to build a million dollar business in Yusana, featuring none other than Yusana Philippines top income earner, Four-star diamond director, Mr. Nathaniel Sunio. Another uh, thing that will happen tomorrow, we also have our health and freedom training with our corporate pharmacist, Ms. Marielle Perile. Uh, Mariel Perile. Um, joining her is Ms. Tina Munderudil, Emerald Director. We also have um, this update for policy delivery. Um, the first 10,000 orders placed last April 6 will be delivered as soon as the stocks are released from Manila Port tentatively on April 15. So for other details regarding this, you might want to check our Facebook page because it's all there. Next one is our free shipping fee. Um, we've already provided you the uh, promo codes for Associates and for PC. You just have it here. So you can take a look at that in uh, our official Facebook page as well. And uh, since we want to serve you best, I think we it is better to suggest you know you uh, guys want to make use of Grab Pay uh, through 2C2P. It's way easier. All you need to do is to download a Grab app, uh, top up with uh, any amount that you have, work on with 2C2P, and you're good to go, and you don't need to go outside. And for a Holy Week schedule, um, will be closed from. Uh, there will be no. You saw, uh, there will be no operations in all our offices starting April 9 until April 11. So all emails, all other transactions will be attended um, on April 13, and that's Monday, right after Easter Sunday. So again, um, please devote your time for reflection and prayer. But then again, if you are um, not Christian, we can still do the same thing. Time to reflect, time to um, contemplate, time to, you know, um, unleash all the negativities in life and better your Yusana business. Again, this is Leo, and on behalf of Yusana Philippines, thank you. Good night. <laughs>